what's good guys welcome to the channel in today's video i'm going to be breaking down how to create this really easy cut scale transition i'm going to be showing you guys how to make your cuts look more dynamic to add more energy to your music videos and it's really easy to do so let's get right into it so here in after effects i have three clips in total and what we're going to be doing is focusing on the clip in the middle so what i'm going to do is just first change the color of this i'll just change it to yellow and what we're going to do is cut this second clip every two frames click page down twice and then click Control shift d that cuts your layer keep doing that until i reach the end of this layer the reason why we're cutting up these layers every two frames is because we want these cuts to happen really fast. What we're going to do is focus on the scale as well as the position of all these layers. Select all these layers and then open up the scale as well as the position. Because I'm going to be adjusting these settings in a certain way, I'm going to create a look where sometimes we have a zoom in or a zoom out type of animation. I'm also going to create a layer where there's a slide animation. So for this first layer, I'm going to zoom it in. I'm going to have it really zoomed in. I'm also going to move the position as well, so I'll move that up a little. So I'm going to have this layer like that, and then moving on to the next layer, I'm going to have this one a lot more zoomed in. So from the first layer into the second layer, we have kind of like that zoom in animation. For this next layer, I'm just going to have the scale at 100% and then the position at its normal position. For the next layer, I'm going to create a slide animation. I'm going to first have it really zoomed in. I'll increase that to around 425%. And then we're going to keyframe the position in order to create a slide animation. But let's adjust the position so that we can actually see the subject's face. And we're going to keyframe the position in a way where it slides from right to left. So I'm going to keyframe this, the position at the start. We're only going to be focusing on the X value. Go forward one frame, keyframe that so that it slides to the left. And then just bring this keyframe one frame forward. Easy ease both of the keyframes. Also turn on the motion blur. So this is how it looks so far. We already have these really dynamic cuts that just adds a lot more energy to these clips. Moving on to the next layer, I'm going to have this one a little more zoomed in and also just move the position. For the next layer, I'm going to have that one even more zoomed in. So you want to really increase the scale. For this next layer, I'm going to have it even more zoomed in, but I'm going to zoom into a different part of this clip. I'm going to zoom into the left side. For the final layer, I'm going to have this one even more zoomed in, but I'm going to make sure to really zoom into our subject's face. And that's how this layer is going to look. So now when I play this, we have these really dynamic looking cuts and it doesn't look like a basic cut, but it's really as simple as that. All we did was cut up the layer and then we adjusted the scale as well as the position. But yeah, that's all I have for this video. Thank you for watching. Make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next video.